You're watching the ACC on ESPN. Welcome to Dope Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee for one of the most intriguing matchups of week one as perennial giant killer Boise State takes on Florida State looking to rebound from its worst season in four decades. Now this game was originally scheduled for a night game in Jacksonville on ESPN but moved two and a half hours west because of Hurricane Dorian. A state of emergency declared in Florida so folks in Jacksonville are evacuating. Some are stocking up on what's left of food and water in preparation for the storm. Now here in Tallahassee right now weather's fine. It's hot, feels like 95 degrees, will be triple digits here shortly, no threat of rain as of now. A lot of Noel fans there. You got a true road game to start your career. Yeah, welcome to college football, Hank, no doubt about it. But I'll tell you, the reason he won this job, guys, is he earned the trust of his teammates and of the coaches. And it's not all about physical ability, it's about minimizing mistakes and executing the offense. And he reminds me of a bigger, stronger armed version of former Washington quarterback Jake Browning. And he may need to play like it here today if Boise State hopes to go home with a win. Hope to the highest recruited quarterback in school history. Hank Bachmeyer from Murrieta, California, where he set all kinds of records. 156 career touchdown passes. He was in the 2019 ESPN 300. And he takes over for a four-year starter in Brett Rippon. And Hank Bachmeyer so productive throughout his high school career. He's a cerebral player. Had offers all over the country, but looked at Boise State's offense. Felt like it fit him. Three. And they have all five of their starting offensive linemen back, one of three schools in the country. Bachmeyer to his left, and it is caught for a first down by C.T. Thomas. He's out of bounds inside the 45-yard line. It's actually kind of a good thing for quarterbacks. True freshman Hank Bachmeyer unloads, complete. And it's Hightower getting the first down. This is a year ago. Bachmeyer moving around in the pocket. A receiver comes free. It is Hightower. First down inside the 30. John Hightower. Bachmeyer gets crushed by Wilson, but what a pass. It's caught for a first down. There's a penalty flag in the backfield. C.T. Thomas. It's play action. Bachmeyer going to throw it back here to Holani, and he has a blocker out there, but a beautiful move. Halani with a great cut at the 10, and you see why they are so the game. So I'm okay with that, but I'd love to see him clean it up a little and get that decision quicker. Score is actually 31-13. Open man in the middle of the field is John Bates into Seminole territory. Well, you can just needs his offensive line to help him out, keep that jersey clean a little more often. Here's Taylor coming out of blitz off the edge. Well blocked by Mahone. And so the quarterback, Bachmeyer, picks up a first down and then slides to the 33. Shift Shakir out of the backfield. And that's where the ball's going. And Shakir has the football, making the catch. The clock will stop to move the chains with. Florida State rushing four. Bachmeyer stumbled a little bit in the pocket. Now throws downfield. Got a man. Thomas on the catch inside the 10. Bachmeyer did a heck of a job. A timeout called here. Clock stop anyway just to reset the chains. Welcome back to Tallahassee where true freshman Hank Bachmeyer is making his first career start. When he's had a clean pocket, he's thrown the ball very accurately. However, that clean pocket hasn't happened very often, but as the half came to a close, he started to make some plays, bought a little extra time, moved to his left, and threw a nice strike down the left sideline. He's also used his legs a little bit. He's not as athletic as the guy he beat out. Everybody on the line is 6'4", 300 pounds or bigger. Bachmeyer steps up, delivers. First down catch by Butler, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line for the first down conversion. Bachmeyer in second down. Pulled in by Evans, and he's got the first down and more. Oh, well, look what he did to the defender. He trucked Stanford Sammy. After Boise State coughed it up themselves. Time for Bachmeyer lobbing it over the defender and caught by Bates. He got that over 6'5 Janarius Robinson right to the tight end Bates. Beautiful throw. This is called layering the football. You throw it up and over one defender and underneath another. It's a beautiful throw to Bates on the post wheel combination. 24 yards. First down at the 46 yard line. 
Bachmeyer in trouble here. Escapes the pocket. Throws back across the middle to Butler. And he's got the 31 yard line. 15 more yards. 15 yards for a late hit. Yeah, at the bare minimum. Bachmeyer, open receiver. Butler has to go up high to make the grab. And they're in the red zone again. It's been a struggle. He's been a go to guy in man coverage for him. Bachmeyer instead throws a fade the other way. It is caught. Did he stay in bounds and get the foot down? Shakir, it's like he was carried to the sideline, but they're going to say he got a foot down. It's a touchdown. Great throw, and how about Shakir hanging on while in midair he's being carried by a defender? Well, you're going to see his right foot. Six, Boise face with a third and seven. Inside the 40 of Florida State, pressure coming on Bachmeyer, but he has a completion, and Shakir has a first down to the 30 yard line. Red zone. On second and ten, Bachmeyer, and out of the backfield, it's Halani. He fumbles the ball, and Jackson tried to pick it up, and I think Boise State got it back. Dontavius Jackson, rather than falling on it, tried to scoop it up, and Boise State got it back inside the five-yard line. Starting to lean on this Florida State defense. 225 rushing yards. Here's a wide receiver screen to Shakir. He gets to the perimeter on the 30. And runs out of bounds around the 20 to third and 17. Bachmeyer looking deep. And oh, what a pass pulled in by Shakir. Bachmeyer hung in there forever and made the play. Brockmeyer takes a knee. Florida State can't stop the clock. Brockmeyer throws for 215 yards and a touchdown in the second half alone. And the Broncos, with the game being moved from a neutral site, Jacksonville to Tallahassee, from nighttime to the middle of the day where... The positives on offense, of course, there'll be things to correct. But how would you assess the performance of your true freshman quarterback on the road today? You know what? He won. That's how you assess it. He won. And we can break it all down it's not perfect but you and i both know you go out there and you compete you compete to win and that's what he did so in my book that's what he came out to do and he got it done coach congratulations go enjoy it thank you go broncos